This video will focus on the process of modifying a core curriculum. No one curriculum can meet the needs of every student and every teacher. Whether the curriculum is a textbook, a fully developed curriculum program, or instructional materials that they have themselves developed, teachers continually revisit and revise their teaching materials in order to meet the needs of their students and to address their own beliefs about good teaching and learning. This video describes why a teacher might want to modify a curriculum and how these modifications can be made. An introductory biology course entitled Biology Concepts and Practices is used to provide examples of various ways a curriculum could be modified. The learning experiences in biology concepts and practices are structured around a teaching and learning framework consisting of four phases. In the consider phase, students think about what they know about the concepts they are about to investigate and read a story involving these concepts. The investigate phase presents students with a challenge. Students gather information needed to solve the challenge through readings, activities, experimentation, and discussion. Process is the phase in which students organize their findings and analyses and draw their conclusions about the challenge and share their ideas through discussion with peers. The extend phase provides an opportunity to apply, deepen, and extend their conceptual understandings. Teachers modify instructional materials for a variety of reasons. One reason may be to make the story, challenge, or activity more local and site-based in order to make the concepts more relevant to the lives of their students. For example, the learning experience investigating ecological succession begins with the explosion on Krakatoa in 1883. A teacher in the state of Washington may substitute a story about the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Another reason may be to redesign an activity or reading that is too complex or did not work well for a particular group of students. For example, one activity might call for students to conduct a chemical analysis involving the biomolecules in corn and milk to understand that metabolism involves the recycling of molecules. In this case, the teacher may elect to forego the lab experience and to instead provide the data for students to analyze. Students would then use the data to reach conclusions about metabolism. Another reason to modify instructional materials would be to substitute for a costly activity. For example, one lab may call for students to investigate the relationship among DNA proteins and traits by inserting a gene into a type of bacteria that gives the bacteria a new trait. While kits are available for this experiment, they may be too costly, so a teacher may elect to carry out the experiment as a demonstration or provide students with the results for their analysis. Whenever an activity or lab experiment is not actually carried out by the students, students should discuss the steps of the procedure so that they can understand the steps involved in the experiment. Yet another reason for modification would be to support reading for comprehension, since the reading level for science curricula can be challenging for some students. Teaching strategies may be needed to support students' comprehension of the reading and to help them develop their ability to extract information. These strategies include reading aloud in class, jigsaw reading, class discussions of the main ideas in each section of a reading, and dividing the reading into smaller sections with questions designed to help students identify the important information in the reading. Formative or summative assessments may also be modified in a curriculum. For instance, summative multiple choice assessment questions can be used formatively. A teacher can assign several questions to each table group and have them debate the alternative answers until consensus is reached. They then submit their quizzes to the teacher. Based on their answers, the teacher can determine the level of student understanding and revisit the concepts if needed. Curriculum may also be modified in order to change the level of in-depth exploration of certain concepts. Because of state framework requirements, variation in levels of student interest, time considerations, or decisions about student learning outcomes, a teacher may elect to forego an in-depth investigation into a particular topic. For example, the genetics unit in the curriculum devotes three learning experiences to understanding the relationship among DNA, protein, and traits. The teacher may elect to summarize or shorten one of these learning experiences. Alternatively, a teacher may want to go into greater depth for certain concepts. For example, greater depth in understanding the relationship among DNA, proteins, and traits can be achieved by having students investigate transgenic organisms, how they were made, why they were made, and the potential risks and benefits. The key to modification is that it be mindful. This involves ensuring that the modification retains the outcomes, pedagogy, and intention of the original curriculum 
as intended by the developers by understanding the purpose of each reading, challenge, activity, and discussion, and being aware of the conceptual flow and pedagogical approach of the materials.